lovelies welcome back i hope that you are good and everything is rocking and rolling in your world so today we are going to be doing what are the innermost emotions for you so we're going to use quite emotional decks um these are have i got mascara in we are no it's all right <laughs> these are the baba studios uh tarot decks and these are absolutely beautiful so you have this one which is the mythical creatures tarot and you have this one which is i just love the box um the victorian romance tarot so pick your deck go to the deck that you are most drawn to um if you feel any pull from your heart center or from your emotions go towards the deck that you like the most and we will get cracking so deck number one let's go so i hope you're ready for the festive period and um, obviously i'm booking up quite quickly now and and christmas is always like it is party party season isn't it um so if you do need me just drop me a message mr latara at gmail.com you want to get in in during the december period if you want to book now think about your person let's go your person's thoughts feelings energy emotions and thought processes and let's see what happens let's see what spirits say so what are that innermost emotions for those watching so as you know, I'm Claire Audient. I hear spirit just as if me and you were having a conversation with one another. Um, higher dimensional guides come through my right ear. Your personal guides will come through my left ear. When I'm doing mediumship and it is your loved ones, your mum's family is on the right, your dad's family is on the left. And it really does come through like we are having a conversation. So it's absolutely fabulous when it comes to using the cards as a tool um, to just channel what spirits say to you what their specific messages are for i'm going to stop at five spirit is saying stop at five and then the card jumps out as a six so we'll take those two together so your person's innermost emotions for you very emotional kind of cards coming up over here so let's start off with the card of indicating movement so we have the Knight of Wands. Now, those of you that know Tarot will go, oh my God, my Knight of Wands, he can be a player or they can be a player. They can be a little bit mismatched with my energy. I'm not sure it's the person that I want to be with. This Knight of Wands, Spirit saying, is coming towards you because there is a very strong sexual chemistry between you, go uh, between you ghost, between you both. And um, maybe if they are ghost at the moment, I do psychic slips, obviously, because Spirit are talking to me at the same time. Sometimes as I'm communicating, the wrong word comes out. So, if they are ghosts as well um this would definitely signify your energy so you have this card of them creating movement towards you and a very very strong sexual energy and sexual passion spirit is saying that they haven't actually had that kind of chemistry with anyone else in their past um those of you that are in third parties as well they haven't had that chemistry with the person that they are with presently and if you don't know who um if that doesn't relate to you then don't take it into your energy you will know if I am talking to you about their parties so we have this card of movement we have this card of sexual energy and this is their innermost feelings now the other card that's coming up which kind of counteracts the sexual energy which is why I said it's good cards is the page of cups so they have got emotions for you the emotions are quite new and um, they're new in the sense that they haven't felt this way before which we've just spoke about with the knight of wands they're new in the sense that this relationship can go the distance and they're new in the fact that these emotions are quite um, real for them. Now, sometimes there's going to be a little bit of immaturity that comes up with these cards. So if your person has gone ghost, as Spirit said, or if they've backed away or, you know, they're taking a while to text you back, that's kind of just their personality a little bit. <laughs> not justifying their actions, but it kind of is a little bit of their personality. They can be quite busy people um, and through that busyness, they keep themselves like, it means sometimes they're a bit crap at texting or communicating. But you have got these very, very real emotions coming up. Sexual energy and emotions at the very, very start of a romance. So if you're looking at this, this going the distance, the answer is yes, it can. The other cards kind of coming out this other side, so those are your court cards. The other cards coming out your other side, you've got three major arcanas. So when we're talking about their emotions for you, this is major. This is major, major shit that is going on in their feelings for you. So you've got the full over here, you've got the chariot over here, and you also have the hermit. So they can see, again, that there is a future with you. They are really just going with the flow of it. Um, again, there's a sense of immaturity coming forward. So your person might be being a bit of a 
fill in the blank there is a sense of immaturity that is coming from this but there is also this let's get ready to jump um and i just got jump by van halen remember that one <laughs> i'm not uh, yeah remember jump by van halen i was thinking i haven't heard that song for ages so we have these new beginnings again they can see that they can have a future with you they have got very they have got feelings for you they're excited to see where it goes and i have very clear sentimentally the feeling of bubbling excitement in my solar plexus so in the the, the chakra um which is two inches above your belly button the yellow chakra it's all to do with confidence and self-esteem so they're actually feeling quite confident on the situation as well with the hermit you might find again that they do backtrack a little bit sometimes they're going to go into little quieter energies but they will keep bouncing back and if you haven't read men are from mars women are from venus um remember we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel but that book is very very good for understanding your divine counterpart um, and it talks about the rubber band theory how they will stretch to maximum capacity and bounce back so if your person does appear to be in hermit mode let them wander and they will come bouncing back to you and we can clearly see that with all these positive cards going on they can see that you guys have got a future your other card that jumped out was the three of ones they can see you guys have a future they want to create that action towards making it work they're in this for the long haul they want this to to, to really progress um in the direction of building a stable relationship together just with the sense of the, the the negatives are more the sense of insecurity. Perhaps they're a little bit immature and um, perhaps they don't really handle their emotions well and they retreat. The positives over here with their feelings is they, they can see there is a future. They'd like to work towards a future. They're going with the flow of it. Um, and there's a very strong feeling of excitement and positive anticipation going on. So when we're asking about their inner feelings and what what those in a deep feet. I'm sure I have mascara. Maybe it is, maybe it's the light. Um, what we're talking about, the inner most feelings for you, there is this excitement, this let's see where it goes, let's take a leap of faith, let's jump. Um, emotions really bubbling under the surface, getting ready to bounce as you jump into a relationship with one another. They're in this for the long haul. That's their inner feelings for you. How exciting is that? I love that. Deck number one is super, super good. Okay, my loves. Right, let's scoot over to deck number two. And I'm actually going to ring Mrs. Shipton. Try not to wake the baby. Um, in between just to clear the energy out. And if you haven't met Mrs. Shipton before, she has been passed down to me through my ancestral lineage. Um, she's Victorian. She's about 200 years old and she was used to call the afternoon tea, I do believe, but we don't know much more about her other than she was named after a prophetess. So lovely that she ends up at the tarot table. Close the energy. Right. Deck number two. So if you have a think about your person, um, I said at the start of deck number one, I am getting ready for the festive period. So if you do want to book in throughout December, uh, please do get in touch sooner rather than later because you know this time of year gets rammed. And then January, as the new year starts, it's like the busiest period because, well, and Halloween. Halloween. It's the busiest period because everyone wants new year readings. So if you need me, Give me a shout now. Mystic Love Tarot at gmail.com or you can Insta or Facebook me. I'm just Mystic Love Tarot. So let's see what your person's inner feelings are towards you. All right. All right. We're getting a we're getting a jump. Okay. Let's try that again. That was a hand slip. That wasn't a um that wasn't a shuffle, that was a hand slip. What are their inner feelings for those watching deck number two? Okay. Goodness. So a lot of the time when you start reading tarot, the cards will show, the, the first thing that the cards tell you when you go into that energy is how they shuffle what is going on in your person's head. So the way the cards are kind of flying out here, there and everywhere and going onto the floor and not really sure what they're doing, this really indicates where your person is at the moment. So you're probably feeling a little bit confused by the situation. You're probably feeling that you've got a bit of whiplash, that they're a little bit backwards and forwards, that they may be giving you mixed messages, that maybe they're all in and then suddenly they're all out and you, you're not really sure where your person, where you stand with them, what their innermost feelings. So we'll have those two together. So 
yeah, you have that kind of mix up of energy. It's really split down the middle. On one side, you've got the more heavier energy. And on this side, you've got the more positive energy. And right in the middle of it all is you. I definitely have mascara under my eye. I keep looking and I keep seeing a lump. Um, so right in the middle, the centerpiece of your person's emotions is you but you are going to be feeling that they are giving you mixed messages because they aren't quite sure where the situation is going but why why aren't we sure of that why aren't we sure of that yeah so your person's really debating about being in a relationship whether it is something that they are ready for so we have their energy over here with the emperor they have your energy which was the card in the middle with the empress and in between them is the seven of wands so your person isn't sure about this progressing into a relationship at this moment in time because they are very much on the self-defense i also feel that probably in the past there has been issues with trust with other people uh, so exes there's also been issues with jealousy coming up so your person is in this case of once bitten twice shy Mm, I'm just gonna just see where we go one side of things they very much see a future of you a family a stable unit building growing creating action and then the other side they're like well you know am I ready to do it all again I'm tired I'm drained maybe I haven't healed properly from my previous relationship I'm not quite sure where I stand with it all and this is why in the middle you've got this quite frustrating energy for you guys like why are they being so self-defensive if they know that they want a future with me so that's where your energy is with them so let's go to the heavier side of things first and um, what's really interesting as well with the, the, how these kind of tarot have jumped out left side is past energy right side is future energy so when we're looking at you and them the positives are in the future and the heavier energy is in the past, which shows that there can be clear direction being made between you and them. There can be a movement coming forward. So with the nine of wands and the five of cups over here, it's like they've had to defend themselves a lot over time. And there has been in previous relationships, and this isn't all of you, but the person that they were in a, with in a previous relationship, it actually feels that they were beat down quite a lot um you know if they wanted to do something they were told they couldn't do it if they wanted to act a certain way this person was monitoring them and um, this isn't all of you but th this is definitely some of you and your person is therefore a little bit frightened of engaging in another relationship and having history repeat itself they've almost said made a bit of a vow to themselves and thought well next time i jump into a relationship with someone it's going to be a, a person that really accepts and embraces me for who i am and doesn't want to change me um so that is really it's quite a positive um you know it shows that they've done a lot of self-love work okay so there is a positive within that they are a little bit frustrated with themselves as well in their emotions because they can see that you guys can be together and they have got those feelings for you um but they they irritate themselves a little bit because they're like yes i want to go for it but that fear pulls them back a little bit and it is very much the shadow and the light aspect of these cards they can see the future but these fears are, are what is holding them back um fears like i said fears of history repeating itself fears of being hurt fears of lack of trust fears of um almost control for some of you guys that they, they are going to be living their life on someone else's terms and they've worked very hard to live their lives for them and equally that applies to you guys as well spirit is saying really clearly in my right ear that applies to you so you've done a lot of self-love a lot of work on yourself um and now you want someone that is going to meet up and marry that as well Sorry, being the amazing word in there. So that's where the heavier energy is. Then we have you guys in the middle where you've got this kind of little bit of self-defense, but we also have the partnership with the Empress and the Emperor coming up. So it can work out. Um, it can work out between you guys. And then on the positive into the future, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is an end of cycle, beginning of new one, but a very positive family card as well. So I suggest you to jumping into the future can have a positive built relationship. You've got the Queen of Cups of them expressing their emotions towards you, knowing how they feel and not being afraid of it. Um, and the Three of Wands creating that action. 
So in the future, you've got very, very positive cards of building that family connection, building a life together um, and being fully aware of their emotions and making it work. So the positives are really, really stepping into the future energy. The present at the moment is the self-defense. The past is the heavier energy, but this is what's holding them back a little bit. Um, and let me just see what creates the change as well from the present to the future. I'd like to see what the change is in that dynamic between you guys. What is the change in dynamic in the present energy moving to the future? Okay, so it's the Eight of Swords. It's this feeling of them being trapped in their head. Um... So they're, they're going to have a bit of a realisation that they are stopping themselves living their best life. Um, and that's what the Eight of Swords is, that they'll realise in their mind that actually they can get past this, they can break out of the chains, break out of the shackles, spirit of saying, that are, oh, that's the shackles going on there, breaking out of the shackles that have perhaps been holding them in place um, and realising that, you know, maybe love is worth the risk. It's very much that happening kind of presently that's the present energy moving to the future energy which is really really positive so your person's innermost deep emotions for you let's go back to the question at the start so there are feelings there is a little bit of self-defense there is fear but there is also light and you have to remember that fear and love are opposites people think fear no, people think love and hate are opposites. That's kind of incorrect. Fear and love are the two major opposite emotions that go and gravitate around this planet. So if you have fear, you also have love. So your person has got loving emotions for you. It's just that sometimes they step onto the side of fear. They have uh, the self-defense that we've spoke about because that is stuff that's happened in their past. They can see a future with you. They can make movement towards the future with you. They just need to untie the negative thoughts or the fear-based thoughts that are in their mind. And once they release themselves of those shackles, you've got this very strong movement towards you over here, creating that action. And I just got with that the Pied Piper uh, by Abba. We're all following a strange melody. We're all summoned by a tune. We're following the Piper and we dance beneath the moon so again this is kind of um this is a, a very pagan uh celtic pagan if you are my way inclined um talking about the um the the god kernanus um and how he's the god of the hunt and he's the protector of animals but he also you know if you they always say if you hear the pipes pan i have heard them once i was walking um the dog in the woods and then I suddenly heard the pipes of Pan um, going and it says, can you hear the pipes of Pan? Um, and I heard them and it was really, it was really Kernanus calling into my energy, really coming there and say, hey, I'm here. And he is one of my patron gods uh, that I do do uh, follow. So um, Kernanus or Pan playing the pipes of Pan, following the melody. This can, you know, follow the melody, let the universe navigate this for you. You just jump on the, jump on the ride and go. Jump on it and go. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I love Kerniness. Um, he's a very strong protector um, in our family. He's a, yeah, very strong protector. Always pops in, uh, well, pops in every now and again to just say, hey, I'm here. Um, but he's he's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I mean, if you ever do any Druid ceremonial work with me, um, some of the times he, he often pops in uh, to help people with clearings and bringing into their realities what it is that they want. So if you do want any um, Druid energy healings and ceremonies and magic and things like that, just give me a shout because I do do individual um healing sessions and and ceremonies and um, so like some examples of ceremonies is bringing in new love releasing the past and um, you know bringing in a specific person if we can do that if, if the goddess and the gods let us do that and um, obviously we can't impact free will there is some stuff that we can do to help you navigate the journeys if you want any ceremonial druid magic and those of you that don't know i'm a member of obod the order of bards of eights and druids um and have done a lot of druidic training um, and yeah interesting life i lead <laughs> busy very busy but very interesting and that's day number two so if you need me just drop me a message mysticlovetarot at gmail.com i love you all to pieces and i will speak to you soon many many blessings ciao